Hi everyone, this is part two of color. So we're gonna add borders and color to our table. So right away I'm going to create a new rule called table and I'm gonna make the border style solid and the border color red. And it's gonna put a line all the way around my whole table. Border style solid, border style red. So let's go back right here, put in table. <clears throat> And then border color okay so it's gonna be solid and red and my tables down here so let's just save it and let's run it and then let's look at the bottom so it made a border around the outside but I want more than that I don't want it just around the outside I want it on the inside so I'm gonna put all I'm gonna do is add this is called a multi rule and I'm going to put a comma. Can I please have a custodian call extension 390? I'm going to put a comma and a th after title or after table I'm sorry just right here a comma space th. So now two things are going to change the table and the th which is the table heading. Let's save it run it. There it is it put a solid line around the heading but I don't want just that. I want it to go around the data too. So comma TD. Now I'm going to run it. Or I better save it. And then run it. And there it is. All right, so I like that. It's a little bit much with that red color, but let's do a little bit more to it. Let's go back. So I did the TH, I did the TD. So now we're gonna add um, what's called padding. Padding puts space around everything. See how it spreads it out a little bit? Padding, and we made it 10 px. You can make it whatever number you want, but let's put it right here. Put padding, and then a colon, and then 10 px. It's going to put space around everything: the table, the th, and the td. Save, run. Yeah, it looks better, but I don't like the space here. I just want the space around the information on the inside, but I don't want it around the outside of the table. So let's go back. So to do that, I'm gonna make two rules. I'm gonna make a rule for table THTD for the solid and red, and then I'm gonna make a rule for just the padding. So let's go back and do that. Right here, I'm gonna hit, whoops, I'm gonna go here, hit enter, and I'm gonna put uh, TH comma TD, put the parenthesis, hit enter, but I'm going to grab this line and that's going to grab it and drag it down. There we go. So now I'm still going to have the border around everything, but I'm going to have the padding just going around. Let's run it. Let's get rid of that. Let's come one more. There we go. Let's go and look at it. I like that much better. So now my padding is around the information on the inside, but it's not around the outside of the table. That's why I took the table out of the padding. All right, let's go back and see what else I have to do. All right, a comment. Now, a comment can be put anywhere in, in the body. Actually, it can be put in the head as well, but it's a different kind of code when you put it in the head tag. What we're going to do is put a comment in the body, and comments are just for the, the programmer to see, or the person who's writing the code. This has nothing to do with your actual web page. It doesn't show up on the web page. It doesn't change the web page at all. But you use a caret and exclamation, two dashes, and then you end with two dashes and a caret. So let's go try it. Now we could put them anywhere. So we could put it right here after, you always put it inside the body though, when it's this particular kind of code. Exclamation, dash, dash, and I can say this is a comment. Look how everything turned green. Period, dash, dash, and then a caret. Now everything went back. So a comment is green. So everything will turn green until you finish the ending code tag for the comment. So let's go down here and let's put this right here. I'm going to put it right after my schedule and I'm going to put another one. Caret, exclamation, dash, dash. This is my schedule from last year. And then I'm going to put period, dash, dash, K. 
carrot. Just information about your project. It's not going to show up over here on the web page. So I'm going to save it, run it. Now remember, I put one of my comments is here at the top, and one of my comments is before my table, and neither showed up on my actual web page. From this point forward, we will no longer be using inline style. So as you can see in my code, there's no code lines that says style equals. So now in order to get background color, we need to add another rule. Now I'm going to add this rule at the top. It doesn't matter. You could add it at the bottom if you want. But again, we're going to put background color in the body. So we're going to make a body rule. I started the same body with the swiggly, hit enter. And this is the same code that you know already. Background, oops, sorry, dash color, colon, and it automatically puts the semi. And I'm going to put a light blue. Look, turned green, so I know it's a good color. Save it, run it, and there's my background color. There we go. So the last thing you're going to do is share this, and of course you know how to share it. You can click here, or you can do it the way I like. Go to sh More, Share, Highlight this, copy it, and paste it in your CSS color assignment in Canvas.